So I have this fresh cube now in Maya, and I'm going to export the UV layout that I have here uh, to Photoshop. So I can, it's actually quite simple. Uh, if I'm in object mode, I can select the entire object. And then within the UV editor window, there's a bunch of different options here at the top. Uh, you may have to actually expand it to see all of them. And one of these is image. And under image, we have UV snapshot. Whenever I click UV snapshot, it's going to say, okay, I'm gonna export a PNG or an image of this UV layout. So it's gonna give me some guidelines that I can take into Photoshop and use to actually make my file. So first thing is I wanna make sure I'm putting it in a good place. This is exporting it to my desktop. I'm actually gonna pop, pop it into our project. And I like to put it into my images folder. The images folder within the project is used for things like renders and reference images and stuff like that. So I'm gonna to toss into the images folder and just give it a name. I'll call it my UV snapshot for cube or something like that. We have an image format. I like to use PNG. Photoshop also works. Either one is fine, but I'll use PNG for now. PNG format, if you remember from previous classes, allows you to have transparency. So what this is going to do is this is going to generate just these lines with a transparent background, which is really great for us to work with. And we can choose a size, um, usually 1024 to 2048 is good. It has to be square. Um, because the UV coordinates are square. So we need to have this as a square binary file. Then we have the color of the lines. So I can change that color. Uh, I like to go with something like this, this kind of magenta, because it's so distinct and it's so different than what I usually work with, so it helps me see it. The rest of these settings are fine. You can just leave them as is. And I'll go ahead and hit Apply and Close, and it should have generated a UV snapshot. So I'm going to go visit our project folder at this point and into my images folder and I have that UV snapshot for cube. If I open that up, it's a PNG file and it's got all of those UVs in it. So now I can open these up in Photoshop. So I'm going to open up Photoshop and then open up this PNG in Photoshop. And now I have it open in Photoshop and it's as this layer. I like to rename that layer UV snapshot. I'm going to make a layer below it that I'm going to fill with white. I can do the fill command with shift delete and just say fill with white or I can fill it with 50% gray actually. That's that's what I like to go with most of the time or fill it with black. However you like to work. I like to work with gray just to start so I'll hit OK. So I have this basically this guide system now that's been built for me where I have the guides here and I have my background layer. And what I want to do is I want to make all my content kind of sandwiched between these two layers. So my next layer, I'm going to make between that. So I'll just call this my, my drawing layer or something. So I'm going to hit D to get my black uh, paintbrush. I'm going to go to my brush tool. And on this new layer, I'll just simply make some lines kind of going like this and make some lines going across and I will add, maybe I'll add like some simple color or something. Get a bigger brush here. I'm just doing this to show you the flow. Obviously this is not a great texture. I'm going to pull in an image and apply an image as a texture as well. So I brought this brick image into Photoshop that I can obviously scale up and down and I'm going to have the bricks just occupy these bottom three right here. Hit return and I can copy it with command J use that move tool. So this is really going to be you using your Photoshop skills at this point. Okay, and I'll hit Command J one more time just to get this end bit here. And I can see that there's a thin layer up here, so I'm going to just select all my bricks and just kind of shift them up. And then I'll transform all of them so that they're just a little bit bigger. 
So I'm using that UV snapshot as a guide, but I need to turn it off before I export this file. Uh, I can turn that off just by hiding it. Otherwise, whenever I actually export this, we'll have these harsh lines on the corners. So I'm just going to turn that off. I'll go File, Save As, and I'm going to save that this into my Images folder as a Photoshop document, just so I have a good backup. So I'll call this Texture 1 and save it. So that's saved as a backup now. Now I can save uh, what's called a properly flattened file for 3D modeling. So I'm going to move from my images folder in my project to my source images folder. And a source images folder is where your finalized flattened textures go. That's the only thing that goes in this folder. Images is where we're saving all of our different pictures that we're using and things like that. Source images is where we're saving our finalized textures. I'm going to change my format. You can use JPEG, you can use PNG. I like to use TIFF without layers as a copy. This is kind of a traditional um, 3D computer graphics workflow as we use TIFF or Targa. And I'll save it. And then I just do a little bit of compression. And I'll say OK. And now my file saved into my project folder.